Alice, perhaps one of the strangest characters within the entire game of Genshin Impact. On the surface, she's portrayed with a carefree and adventurous personality just like her daughter Klee. But with her immeasurable power and understanding of this world, are we supposed to accept that she's nothing but a simple bystander? Well, no. Believe it or not, she was in control the whole time. Every step and action that the Traveler has taken since the very beginning were all enabled by Alice herself. But how can she control the decisions made by the Traveler without ever taking part in the story? The only way this is possible is if she has some kind of a special network that provides information in real time and a specific tool which gives her the control over the story. So what is this network? Without a doubt, you probably already know. After all, you go there every time you log into the game. The Adventurer's Guild. Before you start thinking this is some crackpot theory, let me explain. Because everything we will discuss will showcase how Alice has been manipulating the entire world. Majority of the quests that are associated with the Traveler starts from the Adventurer's Guild. Now from a mechanical standpoint, this is probably the most effective and easiest method for the developer to push the story. But are there any underlying reasons that's connected to lore as to why the Traveler always starts from the Guild? The reason is because of one very specific individual, Catherine. And Catherine is the one character that always guides the Traveler down a specific path. But what does this have to do with Alice? Because I believe Alice is the one who created Catherine, giving her the power to control the story from behind the scenes. Now the ability to create artificial life isn't something new. After all, we learned that A was the one who created Scaramouche and Albedo was made by Rhyndoter. So why do I believe Catherine was created by Alice specifically? Because unlike Albedo and Scaramouche, there's a very noticeable flaw with Catherine. We can notice when left idle, Catherine has a habit of malfunctioning, as if she's an incomplete robot rather than an actual human. Now you might be wondering, how does this explain that Catherine was created by Alice? Because this inherent flaw is likely connected to Alice's personality. We know that Alice is highly intellectual and powerful. Anywhere from alchemy, engineering, magical powers, and even making her own medicine, her long life surely played a big role in her capabilities. But there's something very interesting about Alice. She has a habit of leaving things incomplete. For example, sharing her homemade medicine without even caring about side effects. She even tries to blast Hillichurls literally into space to learn about Ascension, which ended up as a catastrophic failure as the Hillichurls began raining out of the sky into Springvale. She also attempts to control the Ruin Guards with Hillichurls as the core, which again fails, leaving her uninterested before moving on to her next experiments. Judging from her vast knowledge, alongside her irresponsible and flaky personality and being associated with the guild, if anyone created Catherine, I believe it would be Alice. And to further solidify that she's been involved with everything in the game through the guild, even their motto gives us a hint. Add Astra Applesauce, translating to the stars and the abyss. The stars represent the celestial world or simply the sky or constellations. And the abyss refers to the underworld, the destruction, and obviously the abyss order. Don't you find it suspicious that Alice is linked to Rhine Daughter who sparked the cataclysm and the abyss order as well as Mona's master who specializes in the structure of constellations. If the symbolism is legitimate, it means that Alice is the centerpiece that links both the celestial world and the underworld together. Basically, everything in the story should reflect back to Alice. But if this is true, exactly how much does she know and what forces her to be so secretive about her actions? To really figure out why Alice is doing everything in secrets, it's important for us to understand just how much she really knows. Does she know the truth of this world? Better yet, what is the truth? I believe the answer encompasses two variables and Alice has likely solved the equation. The first variable is understanding how this world operates, basically the world's structure. This would include the knowledge behind the sky and constellations alongside how ley lines power everything in this world. And being a member of the Hexen Circle with Mona's master, it's very likely that she knows this on a deep level. I suspect that by utilizing this knowledge, Alice has created portable waypoints which are powered by ley lines, and in similar fashion invented the Waverider waypoint which can teleport the boat to our location. Both 
creation being based on the permanent teleporter we see in her journey. With this in mind, Alice having the ability to call forth objects and beings from entirely different universes isn't much of a surprise. If she knows the nature and the structural foundation of this world, it would be easy for her to manipulate everything to her will with her level of knowledge and power. The second variable of the truth is the rule of this world, the law of Tavat. The understanding that when you directly oppose and question divinity, you're faced with destruction. And being a close friend with Ryan Daughter and having existed well over 500 years, it's very likely that Alice witnessed the cause and effect of the cataclysm. And because Alice is linked to both Mona's master and Ryan Daughter, she's likely one of few characters that can grasp both the world's structure and its laws. It makes sense since after Ryan Daughter's failure to oppose divinity, she sends out Beto to Alice to learn of this truth. Underneath her quirky and easygoing personality, the key to the entire story of Genshin Impact has been with Alice all along, hidden in plain sight, oblivious to everyone, meticulously planning the liberation from fate that's predetermined by the gods spanning hundreds of years. But the most interesting thing of all is that the gods are allowing Alice to roam freely, knowing all this information. Surely with someone of Alice's caliber and ingenuity could be detrimental to the existence of heavenly principles. Which begs the question, how does she get away with it? The main reason as to why the gods have not confronted Alice is actually because of a simple reason. Alice never really opposes the gods directly. With all the knowledge and power that she possesses, it would be quite stupid for her to make the same mistake her friend Ryan Daughter made in the past. Instead, she uses a passive approach, using a pawn. The Oblivious Traveler. In a very funny way, even if the Archons knew this was happening, they have no grounds to stop Alice because she never crosses the line personally. And the Archons can't stop the Traveler because we only care about one thing, finding our sibling. And even to this day, the Traveler is completely clueless about the truth of this world, and they don't even really care about fighting the Divinity. At least, not yet. Perhaps this is the reason why everything will unfold at our journey's end, and when we fully understand the structure and the law of this world, the story will begin to flip on its head. But what's even funnier is the fact that the Archons stop caring about the rules of this world after meeting with the Traveler, as if Alice even had the Archons all within the palm of her hands. It's quite an accomplishment, really. After all, it seems like Alice never really liked the Archons in the first place calling Venti messy, only having bad sense of humor, and the Shogun being a grumpy shut-in all in her own publication. Also being constantly monitored and followed around by suspecting individuals would have been very frustrating for someone like Alice who's so carefree and adventurous. Perhaps this is the reason why she's gone under the radar for so long even in the eyes of the players. This inherent easygoing persona acts as an illusion or a mirage that could dispel any suspicions because many times we would write off her crazy antics as Alice just being Alice and simply accepting her character as ridiculous comical mother of Klee. But we knew all along, didn't we? We're not so oblivious like the Traveler. We knew something was weird about Catherine, the hive mind network that's been manipulating her journey since the very beginning of the game.